Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to construct a service level agreement or SLA in Cloud Control. First, locate a service to create an SLA for. In our case, this service is the configured entry point for a composite application system. Its name is Receive Purchase Order. Before we can create an SLA, we first need to configure the performance metrics for this service. This option is located under Monitoring Configuration. We can browse the available metrics for an SOA composite target, which is the container for our service. For this demonstration, we'll monitor service throughput. This measures the number of completed purchase order requests per minute. You could configure additional metrics to monitor, but this is sufficient for our SLA. And now we're ready to create the SLA. Locate the Service Level Agreement option under the Target menu. No SLAs yet exist for this service, so let's create a new one. An SLA has a name and some other optional descriptive fields. You must also specify the time period for which the SLA is validated. By default, it's monthly, but for our requirements, quarterly will be sufficient. An SLA consists of one or more objectives that are evaluated. Next, we'll create the first of these two objectives. Each objective has a name and can evaluate either service availability or performance. Our first objective is related to high availability. You then need to specify the expected service level as a percentage, along with a percentage that will trigger a warning alert. For this objective, we need its condition to be true at least 95% of the time. Remember that in Cloud Control, you can also define business calendars and apply to them to different features in Enterprise Manager. SLAs are one of these features. We'll simply stick with the default calendar, which includes all dates and all times, but you could alternatively evaluate this SLA only during business hours, for example. For availability objectives, you simply need to specify which status values make this SLA objective evaluate to true. In most instances, this means the up status. Next, we'll create a second objective for this same SLA. This time, let's configure a performance-based objective. You now need to define the metrics or indicators that this objective will evaluate against for this service. Earlier we configured a single metric for the service which is now listed here. Just as with the first objective we must specify the condition or conditions that should be evaluated. For this demonstration our performance objective is met if the throughput is at least 30 messages per minute. After creating the objectives, you're ready to save this SLA. You can specify whether this SLA should also be enabled so that Enterprise Manager begins evaluating it. Alternatively, you could create the SLA and schedule it to be enabled at a later date. You then have one final opportunity to review the SLA in each objective's thresholds, indicator metrics, and evaluation schedules.
our SLA's initial setup is complete and it is enabled and running. Next, let's check the real-time and historical status of our new SLA. From the same service level agreement menu, select Dashboard. Here you can view the current status on the left, as well as historical status on the right. The status is given for the whole SLA, as well as for our two individual objectives. Thanks for watching this demonstration.